Well, hi and happy Monday to you uh, as we come from the, the floors of the CME here in Chicago. And let's talk about lean hogs. Um, I've got an interest in that. I, I kind of like to see what's happening. It's a tale of two cities. Uh, but right now we've got a downward trend line, right? We're kind of kissing it or bumping up against it. That's very interesting to see that trend line. It, even though we're, we're looking to kind of move through that resistance, that resistance is coming down as we go on. Now, why would I bring that up? I mean, again, a, a tale of two cities. The deferred contracts, or the back months, as we used to say in the old days, are not seeing what we're seeing in the front month. The front month's got a downward kind of shaping uh, uh, you know, resistance line. But the back months are kind of just bumping up against flat resistance anyway. So they're, they're looking at trying to make new contract highs while we've got the front month kind of coming up against a downward sloping resistance line. So two different things here. And I would say that probably it's more like that movie, you know, uh, you know show me the money, right? I think that those, those things are waiting for a reason to try to punch through. And maybe that'll be a trade deal or something out there global macro wise. But right now, as things have been quiet, and we've been looking at those levels, those technicians have kind of really been in charge, right? So it's going to have to be something fairly interesting that's going to have to kind of pop, you know, pop us through. And what would you say, what would I say to you maybe as a producer or a young trader? Just be careful about getting too bulled up up at those levels because the market does tend to hit them and then back off a little bit. So you have to be careful about getting too greedy and wanting to see something go through because you're the buyer. Just remember, there's a lot of folks out there that are looking at those resistance levels to sell, and until somebody's wrong or proven wrong, those types of things can be a magnet for the short term. So keep an eye on that downward trending uh, uh, line in, in the front month in, in say, Dees Hogs, but then you go out to July, and we've got that nice even uh, level there, and they're both, one, trying to set new contract highs, the other one trying to break through a downward trending line. We'll see who gets there first. Again, let's show me the money, but we're going to need to see something from the outside markets or at least some sort of new global macro issue to help get us through those levels.